Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Well, today is Vlogmas Day 3. Yay! <laughs> I do. I get super excited about it. Like a little kid in a candy store. But anyway, I want to get up here and share with you guys what I have to uh, show you guys for Day 3. And again, it's a beautiful day and I'm very excited about it. It's uh, I actually got my windows and my door open. Can you believe that in December? <laughs> it's like... Uh, it's in the 70s and then and so so but like i said it's pretty warm in the house right now and i like it like that but anyway i want to get up here and uh, share with you guys what i've made now the first one i'm going to show you was a test pattern that i did for all of stringy ding ding uh, she came out with this one about two weeks ago and so um whenever she asked me if i would like to test some a pattern for her i said well sure and so she sent like three different ones and this one that I'm going to show you is the main one that I decided I wanted to do. I wanted to do all of them, but I just, I didn't, I ran out of time. <laughs> I was able to do two of them, but this, like I said, this one I'm going to show you was the main one because I've always wanted one of these and I've never taken the time out to uh, make one. And so let me reach over here and get it. And it's free on her blog. And here it is. <laughs> It is a, let's see if I can get it all in there. It's a Santa Claus towel topper, and I absolutely love this. I, he was so easy to make and lots of fun. And like I said, I've never have made a character a character towel topper. I've always made just the plain ones and stuff, but I wanted to make one like this. And so when she asked, I, I, I knew right off the bat that it was going to be this was going to be the one I wanted to really test so <laughs> but anyway I ended up doing it in um, Hobby Lobby I love this yarn in the peach and then this is that red heart super saver it's got the glitter in it you can see it there and then this is just um, I'm thinking that that is a that is part it's still part of that skein <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's still part of that skein that I got from the antique store. And it's red and it's Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. So like I said, that one's really going a long way. <laughs> and uh, and then his uh, mustache, I did that in the Red Heart Super Saver uh, glitter. And then this was, I think, some mainstay pink that I have. And then I made him a little pom-pom. And then you just unhook it right here to slide it over your stove handle and then and it's got a little button right there that I sewed on let's see if I can get it back together here and there you go and he's got his little safety eyes and I added some uh, blush to him there I've got some uh, blush that I never wear and <laughs> added it to him there to give him some cheeks and then this towel is just one that I picked up at Walmart it's those uh, feed sack towels i think there's like you can get like five of them i think for like uh, six bucks or something like that and they're my favorite to use and so anyway i just think he's the cutest thing and i, I can't wait to uh, to uh, get him hung up there now um i used a what size of hook did she call i think a four because i used what she asked you know what she has in the pattern because i was testing it for her and so that's the size of hook that I used for it. But anyway, like I said, it's free on her blog. But if you uh, wanted the PDF uh, download, you, uh, uh, that's up there too where you can purchase that. So but anyway, so cute. I love her patterns. They're so cute. All right, lots of fun. Okay, now the next one I'm going to share with you is two more towel toppers that I have made. And it is by a lady whose name is Tanya Bush. And the name of her website is called Crafty Home. And um, she's got some cute ones too now. She's got a gnome one. And and she's got these two. And then, what was the other one? Oh my goodness. Hmm. I think a truck. She just came out with a truck one with, you know, the old vintage truck. You can hear the acorns hitting the <laughs> carport over there. There is a squirrel up there. We seen him yesterday. And he's up there having a heyday with the makers <laughs> but anyway um she just came out with a towel topper of the vintage truck with the tree in the back and, oh my goodness it's so cute too <laughs> but anyway i wanted to make um 
the two that she's, I think she just came out with these two. So the first one I'm going to show you, and I actually um, made these for my neighbors. Uh, they don't watch, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys <laughs> in case you guys are wanting to make you some towel toppers. But anyway, I made them for my neighbors that live across the road over here, and so I'm excited. <laughs> now this is the gingerbread one. Let's see if I get him all nice and pretty there for you. <laughs> But anyway, um, I did the gingerbread one, and it was really fun and easy to make, too. And uh, like I said, it's free on her blog. And what I did was I used the, um, this is the brown that Mainstay has at Walmart. And I did it in that. And then this is that uh, Red Heart Super Saver in that real bright, it, what is that? Cherry Red, I think is what it's called. And then it's got some safety eyes. And then I did its little mouth there in the white, which is the mainstay white, and the trim all the way around it. And then I added a little wooden button that I've got there. And so I just think he's so cute. And then I went to the, uh, I got the towel a little crooked there, I think. Anyway, uh, I went to the Dollar Tree, and I found me these brown towels there. And I thought it matched pretty close. I mean, it is. It's real close. And then I just added a couple of buttons, a little green one and a red one there. So I just think it's the sweetest thing. <laughs> and it's got a, um, I used a um, shower curtain ring for the inside. And that's what I did on the Santa Claus too. And you can get those at the Dollar Tree for like a buck. I, they're probably that price too at Walmart, I think. I'm not sure. I got these at the Dollar Tree. But I just think he's so sweet. So for that, that's for one of my neighbors. And what I'm going to do is I went and bought some hand soap. That I'm going to put in there with it. And of course I got uh, the hubby's uh, a mug. And I'm going to put those uh, coffee puds, uh, puds, pods down in there <laughs> to go with it. And I might, if I have enough time, whip up a couple of uh, old coasters. Christmas type coasters. Uh, what is her name? Nadia from Yarn Utopia just came out with some Santa Claus ones yesterday. And they're the cutest things. And so I'm thinking about... Um, whipping those up see if I can so anyway that's what I have there for that one now this next one is from the same designer I'm gonna have to make one of these <laughs> and here it is it's a snowman <laughs> I don't know they're just so cute and I don't know why I've taken so long to make them but like I said this one's for uh, my other neighbor that I've got over here and they're so sweet they're such good neighbors <laughs> and so but anyway I wanted to like I said I wanted to make them something like this and so I did this in the mainstay white. And then this is that, um, I'm thinking this is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. And it's that glitter in the blue. I don't know what the name of it is. I almost had it right on the tip of my tongue there. Oh, it'll come to me here in a little bit. And then that is um, mainstay orange. And then I bought the towel at the Dollar Tree for a buck. And then I just sewed on some uh, black buttons. And then his little safety eyes and gave him a little smile. And then he's got a little white button up at the top that you just undo and hang it on your stove. Or if you've got a little uh, a dowel, you know, a wooden dowel across something, and you could just hang it on there if you wanted to. Hang it in the bathroom if you want to use it for a bathroom towel. But I just think these are the cutest things. <laughs> and I had a lot of fun making these. <laughs> I love them. So I, I'll eventually probably end up making me a snowman and a gingerbread, but I'm going to stick with my Santa Claus right now. <laughs> okay, that's what I have to show you there for that. Now, this next one is going to be my blanket. It's the one that I'm doing for Maria's Blue Crayon, and it's her Christmas one. And yesterday, I showed you, um, let me get it out here, this one right here. And this one is by, and I know I'm not going to say her name right, uh, Rafa Musa Designs. <laughs> and it is free on her blog, right? Uh, yeah. Now, like I said, last year, whenever you signed up for, to her emails, there was a whole slew of them you could get for free. But this, and this one right here is still uh, free up on her blog. And I don't know how, how many others that she's got that's free. That, so if you want to check it out, I'll put a link down below where you can go uh, look at it. But anyway, I ended up sewing this on, and I'm doing the uh, single crochet. I say sew, so, but I'm actually crocheting it on with the single crochet to give it that little bit of an edge. 
and then I added the mainstay green over here on this side and I'm really loving the way it's coming out so far <laughs> and then like I said after I put my border start putting my border around it I'll hide I'll sew these in you know hide it in there so the square I have for you guys today is the gingerbread man <laughs> and this is one of Maria's patterns on there and I just think he's the sweetest thing I love the gingerbread man <laughs> now I did this in oh my goodness what is that taupe I think that's taupe and then I went back and did it in the mainstay white and then I did some french knots for his buttons on his belly which is that's the mainstay blue um oh that cherry red and then the mainstay green and then I whip stitched his eyes on there with his mouth because I'm not going to use safety buttons or safety buttons safety eyes because I'm going to be uh, making it for a, a future baby blanket <laughs> so if I ever do decide to make one just for decoration you know just you know for like using around the house or something I, I wouldn't mind using the safety eyes because it is cute that way too <laughs> so I'll go in there tonight while I'm watching everybody else's uh, vlogmas videos and I will be uh, crocheting that on and then I think the next color to put on the end I think this might be the last one for this row I think I said I was doing five across but I think I'm doing six yep I'm doing six so it'll be six across and six down and then I'll start on the next row so that's what I'll do there Oh my goodness, it is so pretty today and so nice. I just wished it would stay like this all the time. <laughs> I think we're supposed to get some rain, though, um, Sunday night, supposedly storm. So, because the cold front's coming in, I don't, I hadn't even went past that just to see. So, hopefully, they're wrong on the storms. <laughs> I don't mind a thunderstorm, but I don't like them tornadic ones. Okay, now the next one is my surprise. Um, blanket and so let me dig it out here i've got it all covered up now um i'll dig it show you what i got done last night in my huge bag here <laughs> um now what this one is for the ones that are new it is a blanket it's a scrappy blanket that i'm going to be doing and it is a pattern by jada and stitches and she has a video tutorial if you like to go check it out and I've made one of these a long time ago, and I'm, I mean, I'm going to, I mean to show you guys, and I kind of forgot, but, um, uh, I wanted to make another one, and I just wanted something that was totally mindless, and so I thought of that one, and, and, and started doing that, <laughs> and so hubby has been going into the, uh, craft room, and picking out scrap balls for me, and putting them in my project bag here, and then I'm revealing it to you guys, and it's a surprise to me and to you and it's been a lot of fun i enjoy doing this so much because i love a scrappy blanket they're my favorite and uh so so this is what i got done last night and i'm putting three rows in of each of the two colors that i put together i'm holding two strands together and i'm using a j hook which i do believe that is a size six yeah and so here's the colors that I put in last night. And it almost looks like that same blue down there, but it's not. This is that mainstay, oh, teal. And I think I called this one teal, but it's not. It's a, it's a uh, navy blue, I think. I think that's what that is with the glitter in it. And this is the mainstay with the glitter. And then that's, this is that um, one that I, it's a Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn and I cannot remember what the name of it is. I just said it last yesterday and I, I can't remember. <laughs> but anyway, I held the two together and look how pretty that turned out. I love this. Oh my goodness. I, it makes me want to go and buy every glittery yarn that I can find and do another one in nothing but the glitter yarn. <laughs> so, but anyway, that's what we got right there. And, and I'm going to be putting this on my ladder for uh to hang it up there whenever i decorate and stuff so that's what we got and i'm not going to put that up all right now it's time to reveal to you guys what colors he's picked and i can tell there's skeins again so <laughs> oh boy let's see what he picked out for it this time and, and also what i did instead of him picking the same colors again the next time 
a repeat. Hopefully that's not cheating. <laughs> I, I put them to the side and then we're going to start with the ones, you know, do the ones he hadn't picked yet. And then once he gets through that with that stack, then we'll go back and just throw all the others back in there and start all over again. All right. Okay, the first color is... Oh, look at that. Now, that is going to be pretty. That's variegated. Oh, that is going to be so pretty. Now, look at that. Very pretty up against that. I like that a lot. He seems to like blue quite a bit. <laughs> and I think red's his favorite color. <laughs> so, that's the one we got there. So, let's see what we got next. Okay. Oh, orange. Here we go. Now, that's going to be really pretty up against that. And, you know, I really like this, too, because you know why. Okay, a lot of people probably think orange for Christmas. Yep. When I see orange and yellow and a lot of the solid colors like this, especially orange and yellow, and even, I don't know about purple. I don't think so. Maybe the new ones they do, but I'm talking the old-fashioned Christmas lights. <laughs> you know, I don't know if some of you might remember the old-fashioned, back in the 60s, when I was a kid growing up, we had those glass old-fashioned uh, lights on our Christmas tree. And when I see this, I think that's what I think about. So, yeah, they're my favorite. I've got old-fashioned lights on mine, but they're not the vintage old-fashioned. These are like plastic ones. You can get them like at uh, Walmart. And I don't even know if you can still get the glass ones. That'd be cool if you could. I'd like to have a set. But anyway, um, that's going to look really good together. Let's see if I can hold both of these in one hand. I hear a woodpecker. It's up in one of these trees. <laughs> Hadn't heard one of them in a while. That's going to be really pretty together. So I'm excited. And I'll go in there tonight. Because it's kind of late in the day now. i got to do my chores. And I'll uh, put these two rows in while I watch somebody or watch all the people that's doing the vlogmas and whoever else <laughs> whoever's not even doing it be watching them tonight so I put my rose in so I'm excited about that so that's what we got there I'm gonna put this back in my bag before I drop it here on the ground I don't want to do that and and do that and then tonight after I get done with everything I'll sit over by the tree with my old Grinch shirt on <laughs> And I will show you guys the ornament for the day for the Christmas tree. And I'll also show you guys that pillow I mentioned yesterday. I completely, totally forgot all about that. And I'll probably, what I'll do too on one of my videos is show you some of the Christmas decor I've got up, you know, in my little areas and stuff. And some of it's going to be like what I showed last year, but I'll just show you what it looks like. Okay. And, oh yeah, I was going to mention my cats. <laughs> They ended up knocking that elf out, and they knocked both of those bells out of the tree. I cannot believe it. They were in the back over against the wall in the tree, but both of those bells, it's like they were paying attention to what I was talking about, and they thought, well, after she goes to bed, I'm knocking those three things down, and they did. I couldn't believe it. So I'm going to see. The ornament I'm going to be showing with you guys, you know, showing you guys tonight, we'll, we'll see if they knock that one down <laughs> but anyway i guess i'm gonna hop off of here and i will see you guys real soon to share with you guys the ornament for the day okay guys it's that time of day to share with you the ornament for the day for the tree and uh as you can see i've got i still got my windows open it's still pretty nice outside <laughs> the cats are enjoying it they're hanging around i think he's woody's over there i don't think you can see him or at least he was no he left so I'm sure he'll be back because they love sitting in the window. But anyway, I uh, want to get up here and share with you the ornament for today for the tree. And I have made not one of just this design, but I've made several of the same character by different designers. And uh, I, I was thinking whether if he's my favorite or the Grinch. I don't know. I have a hard time between the two, but I really do love both <laughs> on the, that. So, but anyway... It's the gingerbread man. <laughs> now, I had so much fun making this. Now, this is a free pattern by Erica Dietz, and it's on the Fairfield website. And she's got a lot of cute little uh, ornaments this size right here that you can make. There's like a 
Oh, a snowman, a Santa Claus. Uh, last year I made the soldier. Oh, he's way up there. Hold on a minute. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I made this one last year, and it's by the same designer. And I just think they're the cutest things. <laughs> but uh, let's see. She's got Santa, a snowman, an angel. Can't remember. But anyway, and these two. <laughs> And I'll put a link down below where you can go check it out. But I ended up doing him in that uh, old mainstay brown. And then the white is mainstay and the pink is mainstay. I do believe. No, actually, that's a Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. And it's a, a, what is that, true pink or something like that? I'm not sure. And then for his eyes, I did buttons. Because when I think of a gingerbread man, I think of buttons. And then I added the little green and the little red one. But he's just the cutest little thing. And then he's got his little ice in the, over the top of his head and around his little arms and his feet. <laughs> but I think they're just the cute, cutest size and to hang in your tree. I'm just going to take him and just stick him up here on a limb and see how long that lasts before the cats knock it down. <laughs> and also, I uh, sort of forgot about this earlier when I was thinking about gingerbread uh, cookies and stuff. I actually designed a couple of uh, gingerbread last year. They're cookies, gingerbread cookies. <laughs> I did it about the time it was during Vlogmas. And uh, this is a free pattern by me. And it's, a, and it's the only pattern I have up there on my website because um, I had this I had such high expectations of whipping out a bunch of patterns, but then I got to where I wasn't feeling good and, you know, how the story goes with my sleep apnea and everything. But now that I'm feeling better, I might start, you know, making some more. And so, but these are free up there on my blog, and I'll put a link down below. It's always down below in the description box if you want to go check it out. And they're really easy to make, and they were a lot of fun to design. So if you want to make you a set of gingerbread cookies... <laughs> Like I said, I don't know. I love both the Gingerbread Man and the Grinch. They're both my favorite. So, but anyway, I hear my neighbor's dog carrying on. I think I think the deer are coming out over there because they do a lot of talking at night. <laughs> and I can actually, with the door open over there, I can hear the deer running through the leaves back there. At least I'm hoping that it's deer. <laughs> you never can tell around here. But the dogs, they go nuts whenever they hear that oh and also before I forget because last night I forgot and I almost forgot again that designer that I was telling you about earlier that I got a bunch of her appliques from last year whenever you signed up to her email this is it her name the name of her site is and I can't say this right so it's called well I'm gonna say it's Rafa Musa designs and these are some of the uh, it's like a granny square and then you know it, it, you start off you know, with white, and then it turns into the, like the granny square. And so I decided last year, it was during Vlogmas, I believe, that I wanted to make a little throw pillow for my couch. So I did the snowman and the wreath, and then I did the gingerbread girl there, and then I did the old-fashioned looking Christmas lights. And I just did a big old granny square in the back, and then I did the trim to make it look like peppermint. And so, I had a lot of fun making this. But that's a that designer that I was telling you about, the, the appliques and the squares and stuff. You, you can go check it out because she's got so many cute ones. I think she's got like a farm one now of all the different squares and stuff like that. So, but anyway. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to hop off of here. And that's what I wanted to show you was my little, my little gingerbread man. <laughs> I just think he's the sweetest little ornament i need to make another one to go with him put a little bow in her hair that'd be so cute i guess i could have put one on here but anyway i'll put a link down below if you guys want to go check it out and maybe make you one too all right well i'm gonna hop off of here and i hope you guys all have a wonderful blessed evening and i'll be chatting at you guys i'll see you tomorrow on vlogmas day four i'll be chatting at you real soon <laughs>